This is Tubby Iron. I maxed Iron Man with over 6,500 hours of playtime. Without a doubt, this is my best account yet with a bank that's worth over 4.5 billion GP. However, this account still has so many time consuming grinds ahead of it, such as getting the Zuck Helm, the three mega rare powerhouses from all the raids, the Inferno Cape, and much more. Buckle up because we have a very long road out of us. This is the beginning of the end. The Chambers of Zarek is Old School RuneScape's first ever raid released 7 years ago. The addition of this raid introduced very powerful items, such as Prayer Scrolls that unlock Rigor and Augury, Dragon Claws, one of the best spec weapons for PVM, the Ancestral Robe Set which is the best in slot armor for the magic combat style, and of course, the almighty Twisted Bow. Every Iron Man's dream is to own a T-Bow. It is such an insanely powerful weapon capable of hitting consistent 80s on certain monsters. It's currently sitting at a price of 1.6 billion GP, and it's currently going up due to the Cox Quality of Life Changer Stone back in late November. Many more people are doing Cox now and everybody wants their hands on a Tebow, including me. I already have a little over half of the collection log filled out for Chambers of Zarek. However, I am still missing two out of the three ancestral pieces, as well as the Twisted Bow, which are probably the most important items. I only have 347 raid completions on this account at this time, so there's still plenty of grinding to do. My account is at the point where I need to chase all the rare and high-end gear, so that's exactly what I'll be doing today. I will be doing solo Chambers of Zarek for the next month or so. Hopefully I can get at least one of the items I'm looking for, and if not, it's okay. Chambers of Zarek is my favorite raid, so this grind will be very enjoyable, unless we go insanely dry. Anyways, let's do some cocks. I haven't done Cox in quite a long time, so fair warning, I may be a bit rusty. This is my first raid since the Cox changes went live, and we have a first room Tecton. They made the first Dragon Warhammer spec a guaranteed hit against Tecton, so this room should be even quicker than it already is. They also added more energy pools throughout the raid. I guess I don't have to waste as many stamp pots anymore. Let's see the spec. Nice. And the second one hit as well. That felt pretty good. How long was that? 140 is pretty decent. It's nice because the guaranteed Dragon Warhammer spec means that the second spec has a higher chance of landing. If both the specs land, Tecton dies pretty fast. No more attack delay for crabs. Really nice change as well. What the hell are these portals? Travel start portal, let's see here. Oh, you don't need to run through the entire room anymore. You can just use these portals to get around. Wow, these quality of life changes have been really nice so far. Vanguards are still vanguards. Not my favorite room, but they're worth doing because they drop so much supplies. Great room for no prep runs. How am I still alive? Oh my god, I got a chance at 1 HP like 4 times there. God, I am so insanely washed up. I have to go prep now. At least Redemption proc and I didn't die there. That would have been embarrassing. Holy shit, we got stackable kindling. No more banking the whole inventory for this room. That is huge. I think it's like this for the grubs in the thieving room as well. I guess I'll have to check that out whenever I get a thieving room. I think Vasla got his range defense lowered slightly and apparently he doesn't get healed at all until after he has been at the crystals for too long. I didn't even get to see the heal. Killed him before it procced. The Fang and the Bofo is really well in this room. Oh, and he also drops overloads now. Pretty nice. Alright, let's see if I remember how to do Ulm. They made the portals for the portal attack have a closer spawn distance, and the healing pools also have a cooldown now. Everything else is pretty much the exact same. Well, it wasn't clean, but we got it done. White light, unfortunately. 300k in soul runs and some pure essence. 41 minute raid is quite bad, but it was just a warm up. I'll get better times as I go on, especially with all the new quality of life stuff. I'm not going to do it because I want this layout, but there's now a reload button inside the raid. It lets you reset the layout from inside, and you don't need to remake a party every time and run in here. We got stackable grubs now too. Ice Demon and Thieving will be definitely slightly faster and less tedious now. I never thought I'd see the day I would actually use this item, but... The Zamorak Godsword is apparently the new meta for the Mutadile room. You can use the spec to freeze the Mutadile, and they made it so they take damage now while they are frozen. So we get the Mutadile to go to the tree, and as he's moving, we can spec and kill them before they heal. They also deal less damage now, so maybe Mutadile isn't as bad anymore. Yeah, never mind, this thing's garbage. Back to back zeros, unlucky. Surely it was just a fluke? Alright, there's raid number 350. Got some death runes and a dark relic. Before I was maxed, I would dump all these onto Herblor, and now I guess I'll just do agility, cause why not? I'm starting to get back into the swing of things. 3341 raid duration. Ideally, it'd be nice if every raid was in between 20 and 30 minutes, because then I can easily do two raids an hour. More raids an hour means more chances at purples. And more chances at purples means more chances of the Tebow. I'm a ZGS enjoyer. Look at that silly little croc trying to nibble on the tree. I don't think so, pal. 
When the specs land, it feels so good, but if it misses, then you're kind of screwed, because then you have to deal with the Muta Doll, it's gonna heal three times. Safe spotting both Shamans at the same time is so cozy. I can just sit back, relax, and AFK this room. I forgot Chambers drops Elite Clues pretty commonly. I'll be turning them all into Master Clues, so by the end of this video, I should have a decent stack of caskets that I'll open up in a future video. Another Elite Clue like four raids later, very nice. Dude, they made it, so if you're opening Impling Jars and you roll a clue, you can't open any more jars. Now you can just spam away and not worry about wasting implant jars. This would have been so nice for the Ranger Root grind. Man, stop giving me dark relics. Where are the purples at? Doing a bit of a temporary Zolra detour and I pulled the nice Serpentine Visage. Easy 20k skills. New update dropped today and they gave Ulm a party hat for the holiday season. That's awesome. If you are bad at the game like me, you could bring in a watering can in case you ever get caught in a flame wall. You might have fine water spells work as well, but I'm obviously using Thralls because they are so good for Ulm, especially on the Mage Hand. Raid number 400, another white. Exactly 85 raids dry, man. This is pretty rough. The last time I got a purple was raid 315, and it was a Kodai. Here's the clip. It's a fucking really good Ulm. Oh my god, I got a Mega Rare, I got a Kodai! No fucking way! Holy shit. My plugin broke, it didn't hide the loot, but I got a Kodai. No, oh my god. Let's fucking go! I can't even use it though, that's the worst part. I have to go to fucking mace training arena. But yeah, since then I haven't gotten any new uniques, let alone any purples at all. Surely it's coming soon. It's been over a week of raiding at this point, and the collection log is basically the exact same since I've started doing chambers again. It's a bit demotivating, but I really don't have much of a choice but to keep going. Damn, that was a very good raid. 2302 raid duration, almost back in full form, barely a minute off that PB as well. Having Frodo's ropes now on top of the cox changes means I should be able to break that PB easily with more practice. Error 404, purple not found. Man, this sucks. This is probably a terrible idea, but I'm going to set a challenge mode raid. It's doable with my gear, but it's far from efficient. I legit have never done a CM raid in my life, but I'm pretty desperate at this point to see a purple. Anyways, good luck to me. This might get ugly. All I need to do is prep and kill Ulm, so I should actually have this in the bag. For solo CMs, you need to beat the raid in under an hour and 10 minutes to be eligible for the Ancestral Kits as well as the uh, Metamorphic Dust. I think I got this. Man, the trident against challenge mode Ulm is pretty bad. It's flashing so often. Beating the melee hand with the lance on crush is pretty fun though. Once I get the rest of the Inquisitor set, I'll do some big damage. Holy shit, I actually did it. That was my first ever tried in a challenge mode raid and I didn't die once. And I made time. Very nice. Over 63k points and still no purple. I don't even care though, that was pretty fun. I had a lot of tasks done too. Immortal Raid Team, Immortal Raider, and Dust Seeker all completed in one go. I am very happy with myself. Dude, I really rolled a stupid torn prayer scroll with all these points. That's such a bummer. I might do a few more of these later, but I should probably stick to regular raids because I definitely struggled a bit. I don't know if it's worth doing these. Oh my god, dude, I thought I had it. Why did my boat for noodle so hard during the head phase? Literally 9 seconds off from the PB, that's so lame. Aw oh man, that sucks. At least I got another elite clue. Well my friends, I'm exactly 100 raids dry since the last purple. Ignore the 44 minute raid time, I had to AFK bit this raid, but what a dry streak, holy shit. It's honestly hard to keep going after seeing nothing but white lights this whole time. At least I can look at this guy's cute barren pet to cheer me up. Look at his little Santa hat. If you ever get the VLD Caves clue step, buy yourself a long road from Darkmare. Then you can unlock a shortcut that makes the step slightly less annoying. Oh my god, I just got another Kodai. Duplicate Kodai, man. That could have been a T-Bow. Oh my god, I got a Kodai 110 raids ago, and the purple after that is another Kodai. That's insane, dude. I don't, I don't know how to feel right now. Like, I, I broke the dry streak finally after like two weeks of raids, but it's with a second Kodai. Three rolls at the Mega Rare table and no T-Bow in sight. Ah, oh, man. I mean, it is pretty insane RNG to have three Mega Rares at this point. It just sucks that not one of them is a T-Bow. <sighs> I mean, we saw a purple after all this time. I'm happy, I guess. I just hope I don't go another 110 raids dry before seeing another purple. By far my worst dry streak ever at Chambers. Come on, baby, it's time for the back-to-back. -back. Here it is. Sad scam game. I'm doing another challenge mode raid, and I may have forgotten my lance. So I have to run the melee hand with a fang. I am so screwed. I don't know how to do this. Wow, that's depressing. Minus 57 minutes. At least we got a boatload of herbs. And I made time. Oh, we got another purple. No collection lock pop-up, so it must be another duplicate. Yes, please don't be another Kodai. That's even more annoying! It's my third ancestral hat! No rope top, no rope bottom, but three hats. Oh man, that's so lame. Screw this hat, I'm dropping it. Wait, why is it floating? Never mind, I want it back. Wait, what the hell was that? 14 purples and 441 raids is pretty bad, I think. That's like, what, a purple every 30-ish raids or so? I think it's somewhere around 1 in 23 for a purple and a deathless solo, so we're slightly under drop rate for sure. Just give me the back-to-back, -back. I know you want to. 
feels bad man 4.20 bill bank value nice challenge vote number three coming up like why is it always white i don't get it yeah, we got a pb though so i'll take it challenge vote number four is white you can't be giving me these trash prayer scrolls in these raids all these points increase the loot quantity by so much so i get way more loot but if the prayer scroll replaces that drop then it's just screwing me over like come on man hey we actually got a purple doing some challenge modes no collection log pop up yet again, so it must be another duplicate. Alright, there's no point milking it. Just open it. Yeah, that sounds about right. It was bound to happen at least once. Let's just move on and pretend like this never happened. Listen, I don't even want to talk about this raid. Look at how bad my points are. It's like I just spent the last hour doing a regular raid, but it was a CM. I died to a dial not once, but twice. I literally had seven brews for it, and I burned through all of them and died two times, man. That room is so bad in challenge modes. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, that is hands down one of the biggest clutches I've ever done in my life. Holy shit, dude, my heart rate right now. That was so clean, man. I had a control click and run the head with like no run energy and then I proc redemption from a poison hit and I stalled long enough for my overload to expire and basically take out the mage attack for me like wow though. Oh, I need to relax dude. Clean ass run for the new 2201 personal dust. Raid 453 presents to us yet another purple. That just at least don't be an arcane. Like come on. Nobody wants to see an arcane. It's an arcane. Okay. Wait what the fuck I got a back to back purple. Oh it's another Kodai. Nah, there's no way. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god, I I'm out of words, dude. That is actually ridiculous. I mean, at least it's not like an Elder Maul. Man, it's just sad because Mega Rare is supposed to be obviously a very rare item. I have four of them in 460 raids. Three Kodai's, one Elder Maul, and zero Twisted Bows. I'm very lucky, but also very unlucky if you get what I'm saying. That's still pretty cool though, I guess. Okay, this is basically a guaranteed PB. It's going to be about a 9.30 Ulm start, so I should get around an 18 or 19 minute time. I gotta focus up. Hey, let's go. 19.05, new personal best. Got the Chambers of Xerix Solar Speed Chaser time completed. That was such an insanely good run. If I was better at Krebs and if both Hammer Specs hit at Tecton, it might have been a sub-18, but regardless, I'm super happy with this PB. You may have noticed some new tiles in this room. It's basically an idiot-proof way to do an acid run. It's really good for the acid phase, but not ideal for P3 because you can get easily flame-walled. Oh, baby. We're getting paid, boys. 56k loot from a raid. Some saltpeter and uncut sapphires. That is hilariously bad. Mespula can be a very scary room, but I just killed it in 49 seconds, and I only used one prayer pod dose. There is 500 raids completed. What a clean milestone. And the elite clue to top it off. That is beautiful. I just got a long bone from the big meta dial. What the hell? That's funny. 930k in herbs. Such a nice drop for Iron Man. My god. That might just be the highest standard loot volume I've seen so far. Man, I love the ZGS tech for muted dials. Such a fast room now. If you ever have a first room Vasa or Tecton, you can spellbook swap using a Max or Magic Cape. Then you can cast Vengeance and switch back to the Arceus spellbook for thralls. It's a very good strat for speedruns especially. Yippee, we got another Arcane. Man, that's so boring. What is happening, man? Status update. We have 20 Master Caskets from turning all the Elite Clues into Master Clues. You have no idea how badly I want to open all these. But I'm waiting until we hit a certain amount for a big casket opening video. But for now, we shall keep stacking. Wow, 45 seconds of Spula. That might just be the fastest I've ever done this room. Ofo decided to go full Rambo, goddamn. I forgot to bring my ZGS for this raid, so I'm a filthy tree chopper. At least the muted dial doesn't seem too interested in me. I've gotten this combination of loot like 10 times recently and it's kind of annoying me. I don't need XP and I already have like 50 of these stupid preserve scrolls. I just killed all three of the vanguards before they were able to go immune. Together, Will of Fall has been completed. I guess while we're at it, I can knock out some more combat tasks. Some of the remaining ones that I still need to do are pretty free. For now, I'll focus on completing a raid with 40k points, so I need to do a large raid. Let's get to it. I can use the Vasa crystals to farm points till a certain cap, so that's what I'm going to be doing to ensure we get enough points for the task. Just to need to not hit the boss and only focus crystals. I kept getting hit and brewed myself down too much, so the point farming has come to an end. I probably didn't even need to do that, to be honest with you, but whatever. There we go. Putting it all on the line completed. Obviously no purple, but we got the task, baby. Nice. Holy shit, we three shot him. Fire spells are so insane for this boss. What the hell? Usually it takes like two minutes with the bow for a fang, but only took 10 seconds with fire surge. Kill it with fire task completed. I've been doing some research because for one of the combat tasks, you need to do a tightrope skip. This means that I need to cross the rope and take the keystone without killing the rangers or the majors. 
I got some Phoenix necklaces and purple sweets, so I think I'm ready to try out the Kirby skip. I mean, that almost worked. I think my P neck proc before I was able to cross. Wait, the Keystone is chilling here. Does this count for the task? No way that actually works. I tried to do the famous Kirby skip, but instead I did the Tubby skip, which involved dying. Raid 525 is rewarded with a handsome purple. Okay, I'll take a dex. Not the most exciting drop, but hey, it's way better than an arcane. Out of the 19 purples I've had, 9 of them have been prayer scrolls. It could be better, but it could be also much worse. As far as the combat tasks go, I think I only need the solo Grandmaster speedrun time and then also the team tasks. Other than that, pretty much everything else I can do is completed. Thank you for the Onyx Tecton. That's actually my second one from him. I got one a very long time ago and I remember I used it for one of my Zenite items. Anyways, thanks for the 2.3 mil. 800k in herbs, my god. If you need herbs and an Iron Man that is capable of doing chambers, just spend a few weeks here and you'll be stacked. I've banked so much herb works, it's ridiculous. Man, that is so unlucky. I don't even know what happened. I'm trying to go as fast as I can trying to shoot for this Grandmaster speedrun time, but it's causing me to make mistakes. This run might have been in if I didn't die right there. That's tragic. Just did another raid and I've reached 40 raids drive seeing a purple. I'm telling you, man. Cox dry streaks are the absolute worst. One of these days it will pay off though. The twisted boat can be in the next chest or a thousand chests from now. Just gotta keep on grinding and hope they get some nice drops along the way. Okay, that's it. I'm tired of working with a bank that's pretty much entirely full. So instead of going through it and organizing it, I'm just gonna go buy some bank space. I think it's gonna be quite expensive since I already bought a few slots in the past, but I really don't mind. GP on a late game Iron Man really isn't all that important. 40 more slots for 20 mil. Let's do it. Now we got 1,040 slots. That was so worth the investment. All this cox is slowly melting my brain, but anyways, we got another Onyx, but this time it's from Zolra. I've been doing a lot of Bofa only Zolra recently, and it's very chill. I just need to take my eyes off of cox for a moment, because I have done so many raids, you have no idea. Big milestone coming up. 2,000 Zolra KC, will we be rewarded? Absolutely not. I didn't even think it was possible to save spot both shamans like that, but apparently you can if they both jump on the same tech. Guess you learn something new every day. Come on, man. It's been over 50 raids since the last purple. I got 36k points, 4.2% chance of a unique. I'm feeling good. Just show me the money. I think my game's bugged, man. I don't know anymore. Pure essence and sapphires. That's some hot garbage. Holy fucking shit. I got all of it. Oh my god, dude, that is fucking insane. I'm so happy. I wanted this pet so badly and I actually got it. Absolutely spoon too. What's new? 579 raids for that bad boy. I can't believe it, man. What a fucking miracle. What a day, man. Last purple was raid 525. We got a dex, so let's see what's in this bad boy. Ah, <sighs> what's it gonna be? Please, something good. Ah, it's another dex. I don't care, though. We got a fucking pet. Just look at him. Feels good, man. Holy shit. I think that's the 20th purple as well, so... Omelette and 20 purples is extremely spooned. I think Omelette's like 1 in 50 purples. Jesus, man, that is ridiculous. First raid of the day is a purple, let's go. As long as it's not a Kodai or an Elder Maul, I'm happy. Bro, what's all these deck scrolls recently? Is that three in a row? I think that's three Dexes and an Arcane in the last four purples. You hate to see it, but that's just how this raid was designed. Literally more than half of the purples you will get will either be a Dex or an Arcane. I just killed Tecton with a Xamara God Sword on Crush because I left my Fang in the storage chest. That was surprisingly fast. ZGS went kind of crazy. Minute 30 fight duration with this bad boy. I can see why it's worth 30 mil now. I've reached 600 Cox KC. It has been such a crazy journey so far. It's been, I think, around a month of raiding at this point. I've been trying to do at least a few raids a day, but there have been days where I do like over 20 raids in a day. So you could say I've been doing a little bit of raiding here and there. Not a single new item besides the pet and nearly 300 raids. You know what? I think I'm finally ready to stop bringing in the watering can. I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I honestly have improved quite a lot from doing all these raids. Maybe I could bring in Tacitus now or something else. I haven't really decided yet, but what I can say is that the watering can is no more. Wait, that's actually crazy. My loot value is exactly 420,000. I have never seen that before. Wow, the math actually adds up perfectly. That is the greatest thing I've ever seen in this game. Another long bun, but this time it's from a mystic skeleton. I had no idea they could even drop these. I got one from Dial earlier, but this is my first one from these guys. Sack 1, Sack 2, Sack 3. 
And a hard clue drop. Nice. I usually barrage jellies for my hard clues, but I felt like switching it up a bit this time. Seractus is much more enjoyable and drops both elite clues and hard clues at pretty decent rates. And I get to use the slurry barrax here. I guess Seractus is just goaded. Got a bunch of spider eggs for some more super restores. And I got both the clues I needed to make another master clue. What a nice little mini Seractus session. Don't tell anyone, but I just hit 30 master caskets. Nah, I'm just too good at Cox now. Another beautiful clutch coming in, my god. I had 4 HP, but my overload had like a minute before it expired, so... I just did a 1-0 to zero method while avoiding all the crystals flawlessly. And we got an elite clue for clutching it out. It feels good to be a winner. Even more sacks. I decided that the item I'll be bringing in instead of the watering can is the Ancestral Hat. The Trident isn't the greatest weapon, and the extra accuracy and the damage boost should speed up the mage hand a little bit. I think if I'm going to be doing a lot of chamber still, then I need to buy the Bulwark Kit. I obviously don't have a Din's Bulwark yet, but this Zuck Shield is hands down one of the coolest things in the game. It will be great for bank standing content. Somehow these Vespula times keep getting better and better. 42 second Vespula is pretty cracked. That's gotta be the fastest time now. Another day, another Longbone. How the hell does this keep happening? Oh my god, I did not notice my Trident was so low. Thank god it's enough for this raid. If you ever run out of Chargers, it's basically GG. Arranging the Mage Hand is so, so bad, trust me. I've been there before. It is not fun. It has been 50 raids now since the last purple. It's, I don't know what to say anymore. It's just so demotivating not seeing any good uniques this whole time. But I really don't have any room to complain. I signed up for this by making an Iron Man. But like, where are the items, man? Essentially nothing but the Ulm lit this entire time. Like, hell yeah, I'll take the pet, but like, where's anything else? Guys, look at the time right now. This run has been perfect so far. It's got PB written all over it. My god, there it fucking is. 1835 new personal best. Slowly creeping up on the Grandmaster time. I honestly have no idea what I could have done to improve that time. Either way, finishing a raid that fast is so hype. Turns out getting a sub-17 minute solo cox run is kind of difficult, especially without this gear. It's definitely doable with the right layout, but I just need to play perfectly and not miss ticks. Oh man, I hate crabs. There's no way it just did that, like what the fuck, I'm actually getting angry. And I swear these things are programmed to screw you over. 1925 raid time is pretty good, but check this out. 101 crab duration, like, I think I'm becoming the crab master. Actually the best crab room of my life. Oh my god, finally another purple. Not a new item as per usual, but it's something. Next yet again. This is starting to get sad. Like, what was that? Another 60 raid dry streak all for a stupid dex? Man, I'm really starting to lose hope. Please, Jagex, give me something once. Just once, I beg. That might have been the worst raid of my life. <laughs> Literally everything went to shit and I reset both hands on P3. I splashed at 1 HP legit 10 times, and it hit as the melee hand reset, so I had to redo both hands. Thankfully, I brought in both my stand pots so I could complete the raid without dying still. Ancestral robots, what the fuck? Yes, dude, yes! Finally! There's no way I actually got something. Holy shit, that is so good. Let's go, man. Oh my god, I can't believe it, dude. Let's fucking go. All I need now is the rope top and I'll have the entire set completed. What a miracle. It sure as hell took a while, but the hard work's finally paying off. I was so close to dying too, I only had like 23 HP left. If Ulm jatted me one time, I could never could have gotten these, but man, I survived and we got fucking rewarded, baby. I'm so goddamn happy, man. Let's go. I'm just gonna stand here for a few minutes and embrace this moment. This feels so surreal. I can't believe this happened. This mage legs have been acquired, baby. Feels fucking good. Look at that log, man. All I need is Dragon Hunter Crossbow, Din's Bulwark, Ancestral Rope Top, or the Tebow. It took over 350 raids to see a new item. I'm just hoping it doesn't take that long to get another new item. I just can't get over the fact that I have these bottoms. It feels like I'm dreaming. Raid 669 completed. Nice. No, 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 that did not just happen. No way! I'm on such good pace right now and these crabs are screwing me over, damn it! Okay, I just got a 1743 PB, which is obviously pretty good and I should be happy, but those crabs trolled me so hard that it might have cost me the Grandmaster speedrun time, which is 17 minutes. I think I actually lost the task to crabs. The layout that I had literally takes a minute, but I spent 40 seconds extra. If that didn't happen, I maybe would have had the sub-17 minute run. It's really hard to say, but regardless, the runner's pretty clean for the most part. I can't believe that stupid crab moved legit right as it was about to get hit by the orb and ruined everything. Ah, oh, man. Boy, I just got a dragon after crossbow. Oh my god, another new item this fast? What the? I can't believe it. It's been like barely over 10 raids since the ancestral bottoms. I guess it's just that easy. What the hell? It's actually a decent item for me, because up until now, my best crossbow was the rune crossbow. But now we got the DHCB, which is good for dragons, obviously. But they can shoot dragon bolts, which is pretty huge. So this will be my best crossbow until I get an armadillo crossbow. Very nice. Nowadays, it's not that great of an item because the fang and the bofa and the lance exist, but 
It's still a decent item, I guess. Man, the log took such a big turn so fast. It looks so clean now. Only three items remaining. It feels weird saying that after getting nothing but duplicates for the last month. Not gonna lie though, seeing four Mega Rares and no Tebow is a little painful, but I'll, I'll get over it. I forgot that the Combat Diary rewards let you recolor this thing. I think the blue one looks kind of weird, so we're gonna go with the black one using the KBD heads. Okay, that actually looks pretty sick. Not sure how much I'll use it, but it's cool to have. I never thought I'd make it this far, but ladies and gentlemen, we hit a bank value of over 5 billion GP. That looks beautiful. I think it's a good place to wrap it up. I have been doing chambers for exactly one month and six days. In this time frame, I did 368 raids, which averages to about 10 raids a day. 12 purples were obtained in these 368 raids, which means I was getting a purple about every 30 raids. A little worse than the actual drop rate, but honestly not that bad. I got 3 arcane prayer scrolls, 4 dexterous prayer scrolls, 1 ancestral hat, 1 pair of ancestral row bottoms, 1 dragon hunter crossbow, and 2 coda insignias. Oh, I can't forget about the omelet as well. Anyways, it's time to show the money. 615 raids on the loot tracker shows us a whopping 1.2 billion GP gained. That is mind-blowing. It's crazy to see that the Ancestral Hat is worth 56 mil nowadays when it used to be like 8 mil. Oh yeah, in case you're wondering, I got about 5 million XP worth of herbs from this grind. But overall, that is a pretty nice looking loot tracker if I do say so myself. Also, 6k Dragon Arrows for the future Tebow is pretty good. But anyways, that just about concludes this video. Got some decent loot. I improved a lot of chambers. And most importantly, I had fun. I hope you guys did too. Not sure what's next in store, but I'll figure it out soon enough. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe.